Hi, I'm Rebecca. And I'm Allison. And we were in a cult. And these are our stories. Yeah, believe it or not. Uh, we feel like enough time's gone by and we've processed enough things and gone to enough therapy that maybe we're ready to share some of this stuff with you. The stuff that we started in college. So we both started our sophomore year of college. Um, we're sisters and I'm older, so I was in it longer. I was in it for 22 years. I was in it for 12. We both got married and had four kids in this cult. And we both got divorced after the cult. <laughs> so the so one Christmas pre present changed the course of my life forever. I was a freshman at University of South Florida, living my best college life. And, and both of my sisters, we have another sister, were already in the cult at, in Tennessee. And they had been pressuring me a little bit before this, but they were pulling really hard for me to come up and visit them for Christmas break. And I had just broken up with somebody. Allison had a one-year-old that I did want to get to know better. So I thought, this is a great time. I'll go and visit. And while I was there, um, I started being sold very hard to go to this conference. And then they even convinced my mom to pay for this um, as my Christmas present. So I go to this conference and it's just a weekend long. I think it's in Louisville, Kentucky. And it's fun, like we're having fun with these different people and I had been to church conferences in the past so it didn't seem that crazy unique to that. Um, except the one big difference was the whole time we're being indoctrinated about the local church, what they, what they call the local church. Instead of like, it seemed like the main emphasis instead of God or Jesus was be involved in the local church, be involved in the local church, do whatever it takes to be involved in the local church. A local SGM church. Yes, they Not mean very specifically <laughs> under their their doctrine. Under their eye. Yeah, and because, um, I mean, all the money, where does that go? But so, I didn't, wasn't part of one in Florida, so I made a decision. I was supposed to start a new job. I was supposed to start school back my next semester, the next day or the next two days. I had an apartment and I just didn't go home. So I just leave everything um, in Florida. I don't even right away go back to get my stuff. I just move in with our other sister. I sleep in bed with her for eight months um, to be a part of this church. Um, I'm so heavily indoctrinated. But then at the same time, I became like celebrated for that decision. They like put me on this testimony track, basically. I gave my testimony at the church, and then I gave my testimony at the um, college ministry, and I think that another time. But your testimony would be uh, about the church and how it like changed your life, and how I gave up everything to be at this at this church. Um, but at the same time, you would write your testimony, you'd send it into them, they would rewrite it. And then for a woman to even be able to give her testimony on stage, a man had to stand behind us to, um, so she wasn't teaching the crowd. Like he was still the authority. Very under his eye. Yeah. They asked me to give my testimony again about how the, the local church had changed my life and I'd given up my life for the local church at New Attitude. So to 2,000 people, I'm on stage with, you know, a man standing behind <laughs> me, um, giving this testimony about how the local church has changed my life. And during it, my, um, now ex-husband, God tells him that I will be his wife. Um, he didn't tell me, but <laughs> so we start courting. And that lasts about six weeks before he um, proposes. And when he proposes, I'm 20 years old. I, we've never talked about getting married together before. Um, the first time he tells me he loves me is when he proposes. And you know, I just, I, the first thought that goes through my head is, I'm too young. Like that's literally he asked and that's the first thought is I'm too young to get married. It wasn't really, getting married and having kids wasn't really something I dreamt about growing up. Only like after I joined the cult did that become like a, even a thing in my mind. I wanted to go to New York. I wanted to travel the world. I wanted to do all these things. And suddenly I was in this completely different life path. And so I say yes and we get married three months later. Like there, we actually tried to get married sooner but there were so many weddings that fall because I them on. that uh, that was that was as soon as we could get married. So we get married, and three months later we have, or we get pregnant. Three months later we get pregnant, and by the time I'm 27, I have four kids. And so then we're just, I'm just there. You're, I'm so in it by that point, and my whole course of my life had changed. And obviously I love my kids, and I'm thankful for them, but I wanted to the freedom to choose those decisions. I made all these very big life decisions. Oh, I forgot, even once I got um, engaged, I was encouraged to not finish yeah. school. 
Like my mom had just met my my husband the day before he proposed to me for the very first time. My family didn't really know him. I mean, you you guys knew him because you were in the cult with him. <laughs> but um, and he's not he's he's a great guy. He's not a bad guy. But we just were in the system that um, we had no freedom to choose the life we wanted. We're just no checking, autonomy. Yeah, checking off someone else's checklist. Is 20 years old too young to be married? Is it too young to be proposed to? What's the general consensus of that now? Well, obviously, people back in the day used to get married at a really young age. That's why you know you see so many people now in the uh, in the 21st century with celebrating these uh, diamond jubilees, if you like, and these all these different one jubilees that there are platinum jubilees. But you know, people now nowadays don't really tend to get married at a very young age, especially at the age of 20. A lot of people are still going through university or college or whatever, or just getting their careers on tracks. It is, um, I do feel sorry for her in that way because obviously she wanted this dream and you know, this wishful life of um, traveling the world and seeing all these different places before probably set now, which is to be now what a lot of people do often opt for. Obviously things haven't really fell away in that way and uh, obviously she said yes to, to getting engaged and her whole outlook of life has completely changed and what she always wanted back in growing up in high school obviously has never materialised. So you know when you're hearing the talking and reflecting you can definitely just feel that regret for her and I think you can hear it in a tone to be honest as well. But. Yeah, she, she did mention that she's grateful for her children, obviously why would you not, they are literally the ultimate uh, gift.